Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. RAQC Tamara Judge struggled with Shannon for a decade. Tamara Judge is opening up about her relationship with RHOC co-star and former bestie, Shannon Beter. As it turns out, she has been struggling with Shannon for around a decade now. So the dissension in their friendship is not something that just happened overnight or because of Shannon's DUI hit-and-run arrest. Keep reading for more on the struggle Tamra claims she has been through in the last 10 years. When Shannon Beter first came onto the RHOC scene in Season 9, Tamra Judge gravitated toward her. She loved how fun she was and how she could easily throw back a few drinks. Shannon always had a hangover remedy, and she lightened the mood, but early on, there was also a lot of tumult. She and her husband, David Beter, were struggling in their marriage, something Shannon was open about with Tamra. Tamra then told Heather Dubrow, and that created even more drama. From then on, Shannon was a ticking time bomb, and her friendship with Tamra always had highs and lows. There were times when Shannon only focused on herself when Tamra was going through her only family and life issues. That made Tamra feel unseen and like it was a one-sided friendship. She also called Shannon out for her drinking in the past. Then Tamra was fired and the two stopped speaking until she returned in season 17. They reconciled and even started a Tres Amigas improv show with Vicky Gunvalson. Then it came crumbling down and now. Tamra is estranged from both women. However, she maintains this downfall was a decade in the making. According to Monsters and Critics, Tamra Judge opened up about what really went down between herself and Shannon Beter. She shared these details on So Bad, It's Good with Ryan Bailey. You have to understand, it was 10 years of me talking her off the ledge taking the phone calls all day, all night, and some of the things I don't want to repeat. They are so bad. Therefore, Shannon would have to be the one to apologize first for there ever to be a reconciliation. Additionally, Tamara's husband, Eddie Judge, was drained by Shannon's calling. She claimed he noticed her mood shifting downward after their conversations. Finally, Tamara had enough. There came a point when Tamra Judge had to speak her truth and tell Shannon Beter how she felt. She was always calling drunk, and then when she got the DUI. I had a talk with her. I said, listen, it's been really hard for me to say this to you, but you got a drinking problem and you need to get help. The hope was that this unfortunate incident would help wake Shannon up. However, Tamra did not feel it did. Despite Shannon claiming she was no longer drinking, Tamara alleges that was false. She was calling me drunk every night. Every night she was calling me drunk. The thing with Shannon is when she drinks like that, she's very aggressive and mean. Regarding the videos that John Jensen has of Shannon allegedly drunk and nearly running over his daughter, Tamara has not seen them. Despite that, she knows her well enough, so she believes everything that is supposedly on the tapes. After the Thursday, September 26th episode of RKHOC, fans have called Tamara out for her angry drinking. Therefore, what she is saying may not hold much weight. What are your thoughts on Tamara's decade-long struggle with Shannon? Do you think she just keeps making up things to not look like the bad guy, or do you believe it to be true? Let us know and watch RHOC Thursdays on Bravo. For over a decade, Tamara Judge and Shannon Beter's friendship has been one of the most tumultuous dynamics in the Real Housewives of Orange County, RHOC, capturing the essence of what happens when two fiercely independent, opinionated women try to navigate the stormy waters of reality television and personal drama. Their friendship, built on laughter, loyalty, and a shared sense of camaraderie, has often been pushed to the breaking point by misunderstandings, jealousy, betrayal, and the relentless pressure of the cameras. From the moment Shannon joined the cast in season 9, 
It seemed like she and Tamara were destined to be best friends. Their personalities clicked almost instantly. Both had a sharp sense of humor, an ability to read people like a book, and a deep well of emotional vulnerability that connected them in ways they couldn't even articulate. Tamara, already a staple on the show, was eager to bring Shannon into the fold, and Shannon, dealing with personal issues in her marriage, leaned on Tamara for support. They became inseparable, laughing through the highs and crying through the lows. But as any Housewives fan knows, good friendships don't always last forever in the pressure cooker of reality TV. In the early years of their friendship, Tamara and Shannon seemed like the ultimate power duo. They had each other's backs in arguments, they traveled together, and they shared secrets and hardiches that deepened their bond. Tamara even stood by Shannon as her marriage to David Beater fell apart, offering her a shoulder to cry on during some of her darkest moments. For a while, it seemed like nothing could tear them apart. But the cracks began to show as the years went on, and the pressures of being on the show, along with personal insecurities, began to creep into their relationship. Tamara's fiery personality often clashed with Shannon's emotional sensitivity, and what began as small disagreements soon escalated into full-blown battles. Tamara felt that Shannon was needy, constantly requiring emotional support, while Shannon believed that Tamara wasn't being a true friend, often criticizing her behind her back and stirring the pot with the other ladies. Season after season, their friendship became more fragile, the group dynamics of RHOC only added fuel to the fire, with other cast members like Vicky Gunvalson and Kelly Dodd amplifying the tension between them. Shannon, who was going through intense personal struggles, including a painful divorce and a battle with weight gain, often lashed out and Tamara, who prides herself on being strong and resilient, found it difficult to cope with Shannon's emotional volatility. Their once unbreakable friendship turned into a fragile truce, with both women walking on eggshells, unsure of where they stood with each other. One of the defining moments in their relationship came in season 14, when Shannon felt abandoned by Tamara. Shannon had always relied on her friend during hard times, but Tamara, dealing with her own personal issues, wasn't as available as Shannon wanted her to be. It wasn't just the lack of support that stung Shannon. It was the feeling that Tamara was actively turning against her. When Tamara began forming closer bonds with other cast members, particularly Kelly Dodd, it ignited Shannon's insecurities. She felt replaced and discarded, leading to an explosive argument during the cast trip to Arizona, where years of pent-up frustration came pouring out. Tamara never wanted to back down from confrontation, fired back, accusing Shannon of being self-absorbed and emotionally draining. She expressed her frustration over always having to carry Shannon through her problems and not receiving the same level of support in return. The Arizona trip became a turning point, a moment where both women were forced to confront the reality of their friendship. Shannon was hurt, feeling betrayed by someone she considered a sister, while Tamara, on the other hand, was fed up with the emotional baggage she felt came with maintaining their relationship. Their friendship seemed to crumble in the aftermath. For months, the two barely spoke, each nursing their wounds and retreating into their own quarters. For the first time in years, Tamara and Shannon were not the dynamic duo of RHOC and their riff became fodder for the rest of the cast, who took sides and added to the drama. It was a painful time for both women, and it seemed like the end of an era. However, reality television has a way of bringing people back together, for better or worse. As RHOC continued, the two women were forced to be around each other, and slowly they began to mend their broken friendship. But this time, the relationship was different. There was a cautiousness, a wariness that hadn't been there before. Tamara and Shannon were no longer the inseparable best friends they had once been. Instead, they were more like battle-worn soldiers, 
still standing side by side, but with scars from their many conflicts. In season 17, when Tamara returned to the show after a brief hiatus, fans eagerly watched to see how her reunion with Shannon would unfold. Would they pick up where they left off, or had too much damage been done? The answer was somewhere in between. While they were able to put some of their issues behind them, there was still an underlying tension, a sense that their friendship could easily implode again if they weren't careful. Tamara has often reflected on her friendship with Shannon in interviews, admitting that their relationship has always been a challenge. Shannon and I have a connection that's hard to explain, she once said. We love each other, but we also drive each other crazy. It's like we're sisters. One minute we're laughing and hugging, the next we're screaming at each other. For her part, Shannon has also acknowledged the complexities of their friendship. Tamara is someone I'll always care about, but we've been through so much. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever get back to where we used to be, she confessed during a reunion episode. As of today, Tamara and Shannon's friendship remains a work in progress. They survived betrayals, reconciliations, and countless ups and downs, but the bond they share, however strained, is undeniable. Whether they can truly move past the drama and rebuild their friendship remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. Their relationship, with all its highs and lows, will continue to be a central storyline on RHOC for years to come. For Tamara Judge and Shannon Beter, the struggle for friendship has always been a delicate balance of love, loyalty, and confrontation. A decade-long saga that perfectly encapsulates the intense world of reality television.